Each logic gate comes with its own set of abilities. For instance, a NOT gate basically takes any incoming bit and inverts it. And then an OR gate, it will take two incoming bits, but will only output a 1 if one of these two are a 1, or even both. An AND gate, that will only output a 1 if both the incoming bits are 1. Now what's neat is you can actually take, say, a couple of these gates and combine them together. For instance, an AND followed by a NOT gate. Basically the NOT inverts whatever is coming out of the AND. So it's kind of like a NOT AND or a NAND gate. Ooh, boy. With many NAND gates, we can actually combine them together into different circuits. Putting the signal into both inputs of NAND gate is essentially a NOT gate. The output of a NAND feeding into a NAND is the same as an AND. Three NAND gates hooked up like this gives you an OR gate. So NAND gates are really OP because with enough of them, you can build any logical function that you can think of.